Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to The Sands. We are live here on theCUBE, the flagship broadcast of SiliconANGLE TV, along with John Troyer, with whom I've yet to be teamed up this week. Good to see you, John. Nice to be here, John. I'm John Walls, and we're joined by Shandamoy Mondo, who's a director of marketing at Dell EMC. And Shandamoy, good to see you, sir. Happy to be here. Nice to have you back on theCUBE. Thank you. I know it's been a busy week for you, a great week I, from what Absolutely. I've heard uh, from many. So first off, before we jump in, we're going to talk a, a lot about storage here. But first, your overview, what you've heard, the vibe of the show, and, and uh, kind of what your takeaway is going to be when you head home. So, this has been a great show. We have announced a lot of uh, new products, and I have been doing a lot of breakout sessions and customer uh, meetings. And customers are excited in terms of the breadth of portfolio we have to offer, how we are helping them uh, in their digital transformation journey uh, with, along with the IT transformation that is fueling this digital transformation. And for me personally, the takeaway is the product announcements we made in terms of the high-end storage. I cover high-end storage marketing. So both Dell EMC PowerMax a brand new end-to-end uh, -end NVMe design product line that we announced yesterday, as well as the new enhancements we have done for Extreme IO X2. This has been like an exciting week. Uh, happy to make, meet like a great number of customers, both in meetings as well as in breakout sessions. So overall, I feel great. We accomplished a lot of things, and I look forward seeing these customers taking their next steps in their digital transformation journey and happy to be part of their transformation yeah. here. So we had Caitlin Gordon on and uh, yesterday and she couldn't stop smiling about, about the announcement. And when she started going through all the, all the performance metrics, right, you know, 10 million IOPS, and, and she said, this is like 2X, we're just blowing people away right now. Absolutely. She's going on and on. So, I mean, go ahead and run through some of that for us and tell us about the product a little bit, and, and what you think is revolutionary about it. So, Dell EMC PowerMax is our flagship offering in the high-end storage. Uh, if I were to characterize it in three words, it is fast, it is smart, and it is efficient. As far as fast goes, it can deliver, as Kathleen said, up to 10 million IOPS, 150 gigabytes per second throughput with very minimal latency, uh, less than 300 microseconds. This is all backed by the end-to-end -end NVMe design that we have done. So this NVMe-enabled uh, architecture take away the limitations that we used to see from SAS. Not only that, uh, it is not just NVMe, but also the storage class memory drive that is the next generation. It is uh, this array uses both SCM and NVMe. So that's the first part. The next part is the smart. It has a built-in machine learning engine that actually analyzes 40 million data in real time and makes 60 billion decisions per day to optimize data placements and making sure we are delivering the service levels for all different applications. And the last part is efficiency. We have introduced inline deduplication uh, with hardware assisted feature. So now it has both uh, compression and deduplication giving a lot of capacity settings to our customers while not impacting the performance at all. You know, Sean, I was actually just speaking with uh, um, uh, Sean Wendish from uh, Rackspace, Rackspace talking about that. And the thing that th impressed him the most, we actually skipped over the NVMe and we skipped over a lot of the parts inside of it um, because that's the, some of the performance that they needed for their service provider uh -huh. workload. But they're, one of the, the highest things that they valued out of it was the operational efficiency. And in fact, I was sitting with some of the, the team uh, yesterday talking to them and with a couple of storage admins and they, they were swapping war stories <laughs> about like, Step 143 of, of 300, and you know, trying to as you as you as you had all the knobs and the scripts and the CLI, and that's gone. A lot of that Absolutely. is gone, and that you know, and whether you call it AI or or the machine, you know, deep learning, but 
the operational efficiencies that are now in this next generation of, of uh, now called Power Max, right? That seemed to be impressive, impressive, one, of the, one of the bigger things that impressed him. I don't want to say he wasn't impressed by the, the performance numbers. So are, as you talk to customers uh, this week, has, has, that, has that really hit home? Uh, absolutely. The operational efficiency, the OPEX reductions are like key to the customers enabling their IT transformation leading to this digital transformation. Now, how does this play into all the machine learning and AI techniques that this uh, platform is built upon? So if you I'll take a look at the workloads that the customers are running today, it's still enterprise workloads. 80% of it is like uh, traditional workloads like SAP, uh, Oracle, all of these. But then there is the modern applications that are built on real-time data analysis, right? Mm -hmm. So it feeds into the data, it analyzes it to make better decisions for the customers, taking proactive actions, mm -hmm. delivering the, uh, I mean, using those data analysis as their competitive advantage. But that is today only like say 20% of the workload, mm -hmm. okay? Now, it is predicted that over the next three years to five years, that ratio is going to flip. So it will be 20% of the traditional workloads and 80% is this modern applications like data generated from IoT, AI, all those things. Now, how does PowerMax help in this scenario? So here comes that built-in machine learning engine. It actually learns from the patterns in the data. So today, it can analyze the data and do this optimized placement between storage class memory and NVMe uh, SSDs based on those 80-20 rule. But then, as the workloads are getting adopted, this is also learning from these patterns in data and adopting itself in running these algorithms to make sure even in future, when the workload percentage changes, it is changing its algorithms and providing the same level of service. And not just data placement. Uh, this is service level agreements, so our PowerMax customer can say for this application I need this much of latency. So all these AI and machine learning techniques are being applied there, so as they're changing this uh, service level uh, directions, it is adopting and making sure whatever application requires whatever response times, we are able to deliver it. And that's a huge operational uh, benefit because the administrators do not need to tune and fiddle, figure out how to get there. It is automatic, it is built in, thanks to the uh, built-in AI engine well, here. Well now, Shanna you've just, you've just, there's now a generation of storage admins that now, uh, that needs to, needs to up-level their jobs, right? Because that, they used to have a real, that, that was, it was tedious, right, talking to them. Um, I'm actually kind of curious also, the rest of the, the it, how this, the portfolio fits together, right? In the, in the sense of, uh, if you look at the industry, maybe a few years back, you, you almost would have kind of overfitted on, on hyperconverged, and you would have thought, well, maybe one size does fit all, and we'll, that's the future, but it turns out, in the meantime, Dell EMC had this portfolio, and uh, there was a high, the high end has been there all, all along, and, and, and fitting for appropriate workloads, right? So I'm just kind of curious, Jean Demay, maybe take us over to some, maybe Extreme IO, or, you know, what, as you talk to the customers, when they talk to you, what, what, what apps and workloads are, do you then uh, talk to them about some of the Yeah, so end? you bring up a very good and pertinent question which our customers ask us all the time, right? So in this example, let's take both the high-end products, right? We have our Dell EMC PowerMax, we have Dell EMC Xtreme IO X2, both are all flash arrays, has great characteristics, so how, which is applicable where, right? So the first thing I want to say, for all the customers that are running ultimate mission critical workloads where they need RPOs and RTOs pretty much like instant, it cannot go down at any point in time and I'm not talking about just the like storage but also all the applications that is running. So SRDF or the replication technology within the uh, PowerMax product, that is the gold standard in the industry delivering like six nines and above availability for many, many years. So couple that with massive workload consolidation. So for example, you are a big hospital. You are running your epic uh, 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 
medical data record systems. It's not just like epic databases, but also your uh, VDI desktops, your other virtual workloads. All you can consolidate in a very small footprint with our PowerMax uh, platform. The third thing is, it's now end-to-end -end NVMe design. Mm -hmm. Right now we are using dual-ported NVMe uh, SSDs, right? So customers who need that level of very high performance in like less than 300 microsecond latency with all these like real-time apps and business applications together. So that's the customer segment who finds Power, Power Max as the appropriate platform. Now, Extrema is also a purpose-built all-flash array designed from ground up for the flash media. So what's the benefit there, right? Now here, again, what we are doing with Extreme IO, we are offering these enterprise capabilities at the mid-range price. We actually introduced a new Extreme IO x brick model to bring down the cost. It is 55% lower entry point than it used to be in the previous generation. So uh, we are going to serve that mid-market customers with enterprise capabilities with this new uh, Extreme IO x brick model. And the way Extreme IOs uh, always in-memory metadata-centric architecture works out, okay? It can deliver very high performance, consistently low latency, but also it has integrated copy data management mm -hmm. built in. Mm -hmm. uh, and what does it play? Say, think of a database where, like, for every database there are, say, five to 10 copies for test and dev, uh, backup, reporting, all of those things. Now, wherever you have massive amount of copies, Xtreme is a very good platform because you can actually bring those copies and run workloads on the copies themselves. Okay? Mm -hmm. And like you get enormous consolidation and capacity footprint in that type of situations. And the last thing is workloads that has very high data reduction ratios. Mm -hmm. Think of it virtual desktops or VDI. Mm -hmm. So here you have like thousands of users running their desktops in a data center and but inherently like all the OSs are the same. So here is like a lot of data reduction capabilities uh, that come into picture. And Xtreme is always in memory, metadata centric architecture. And this inline all the time dedupe and compression helps in great amount of capacity savings with the data reduction technologies. For the workloads where it is critical to have, uh, I mean, uh, data reduction and it's the data itself lends to data uh, capacity savings. That's where Extreme IO plays in. So that's kind of like give you a perspective of how these products sure. complement each other. Well, I know it's been a great week for you, a busy week for Absolutely you. Absolutely, five a great breakout week. sessions, two cube interviews, client meetings, what have you. Take a break. Thank All you. Right, I mean, it's been a great show, yes, and it, it was a, a pleasure having here talking to you. Thanks for joining us again and sharing the PowerMax story. It's a good one, and I'm sure it's going to give you a lot of success Thank you. down the road to Dell EMC. Back with more, you are watching Dell Technologies World 2018 coverage live on theCUBE from Las Vegas.